Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we want to create this epic abstract scene. Let's jump right in. Here we are on a fresh blender scene. Today we need the cube for some geometry node stuff. So let's hide this for now. Let's go to file append and we want to bring in the first asset. Um, this one is our tree here, the whole folder. And we want to use uh, the five, the blend file five here. And let's go to collection and append the collection. We have here now our tree. Let's rename this one to tree now. And we can hide this. Let's go here and press shift A and a cylinder. We want to go here now to the settings and I want to change the vertices to 64, the radius to five and the depth to 25. Now let's make a right click on this one and shade auto smooth. Let's bring this now to a uh, new Z position. So let's go with minus 1.15. Later, we want to put here the tree on this one, but now we need to make some geometry node stuff. So let's bring back our cube and I want to switch here over to the geometry node editor, make a new one. What we need first is a star. So let's search for a star. Maybe let's put this here in the geometry so we can see. Let's hide the cylinder for now. And I want to change the points to three and the inner radius to one and the outer radius to one as well. So we're having here a hexagon like thing. We need a fill curve to make this to uh, 3D geometry. We want to go with n-gons because I don't want to have here these uh, three angle stuff. And now we need an extrude, extrude mesh. Bring this one inside. Let's change the offset scale here to 20. And now we want to put this here around our cylinder. To do this, we need an instance, instance on points. Mesh goes here into the instances because we want to put all the stuff around a circle. And what we need else is a circle. Let's go with a curve cycle and put this here in the points. And now we can put the instance into the geometry. Now we can see something is going on. And let's change here now the resolution to 66. And I want to go with a 5.5 meter radius now that looks a little bit boring here so we need to randomize some stuff and to to offset or to change or randomize here the position we need a set position node and put this here in between now let's add here a random node random value and because we are in the 3d space we have to change this here now to vector now we are having all the th three axes x y and z let's put this here into the offset and we just want to change here the z value in the max so x and y goes to zero and let's change this one here to minus four so we're having here a little bit uh, of uh, offset and now we can go ahead and duplicate this one and this goes right into the rotation because we want to rotate here only the z yeah, we can change here, play here with the settings. I like to go here now with a 10. And the last random node which we need here is a float. And this one goes into the scale. The min value is the smallest size. So let's go with 0.25. And the uh, biggest one is the 0.8 here now. The next one will be a cycle here outside. First, I want to change here now uh, our camera so we can see a little bit more. Let's press zero on the numpad to go into the camera view. I want to change this now to 2.5 by minus 35 by minus three by 125 in the X. Y is zero and the Z value is 1.5. We want to use um, panoramic view here. And to do this, we have to go into rendered. But first let's go here into the cycles or change to cycles because the panoramic view is only available in cycles. So let's change this now to rendered view. Now we can go into the camera settings and I want to change this to panoramic. Go to 15 in the lens and I want to add here the passport 2. So let's go to viewport display passport 2. 
And now we are ready to set up the second cycle of the rocks. So let's go back to our geometry nodes. And now we want to duplicate all the stuff here. So let's go and select everything. Press now Shift and D. We want to put this here down. And to bring everything together, we need a join geometry node this year and this one goes into this one and now we have to do here some changes to go to change here the star so let's go with an inner and outer radius of five and we want to increase here the offset scale to 50. now we can change here the curve cycle but first i want to change this here with an arc so, and the point is we will want to create now a gap here where our camera is so we don't cut our camera here inside so that's because we are now using an arc so let's change now the resolution to 66 by a radius of 37 and the start angle is here now minus 71 you can see this one is open here i want to go with this sweep angle of 338 you can see that this one is a little bit high here now and to change this we have to go here and add a transform node in between so let's go with the transform geometry and i want to turn this to minus 13.5 in the z for me i want to rotate this a little bit more so let's go with minus 5.5 six so this one looks a little bit better and now we can add here a plane which is our floor and let's change the x and y to 150 and bring this to minus 3.23 okay that is our scene here one thing is missing as always <laughs> we want to use here a guy uh, so let's go to the asset browser and i want to put this one here in the scene let's bring this guy to minus 1.5 by minus 30 by minus 3.2 and before we are bringing back the tree here i want to uh, create here a material for our uh, hexagon rocks so let's go to the shade editor uh, we can select here the cube where the geometry node stuff is so let's rename this here to rocks and we have already a material on this one now we can add here some textures so let's go here and press N, Node Wrangler. We want to add here the Add Principle Setup. And if you don't have this here in the menu, you can go to Preferences and search for Wrangler. Enable this one. And now let's select the Principle at BSDF and press Add Principle Setup. I want to go to the Rock 51 folder. And now we want to use here the Roughness, the Normal GL, the Metalness, the Displacement, and the Color. Let's press Principle Texture Setup. Maybe let's make a new window here so we can see what's going on here with the material. Let's rename this here now to rock so we can find this. And now let's switch over to geometry node editor. And now we want to add here a set material node, put this here in between. And now we can add here the uh, material rock. Yeah, this <laughs> looks not like rocks. So let's go back to shading and we want to change here now from uv to generate it that looks already better we have to change here the x to 90 i like to scale here the x and y to 2 and one little thing is i want to increase here the normal map to 5 i want to add the material here on the cylinder as well so let's select this one that's not important here that looks not cool but we don't see this so uh, that's totally fine now I think it's time to bring in here an HDRR. So let's use here this easy HDRI plugin, create world nodes here. And now we can see a little bit more what is going on. Uh, today I want to use here the Kiara One Dawn. And let's go here now into the world settings and let's search here for the nodes. Let's go here in the rotation to 100 and 62 now the uh, sun is on the left side which is cool and now we can go here into the add change this to point two now it's time to bring in here the tree and yeah this one is now hiding here in the cylinder uh, let's select here the empty and we want to change here now in the item the z value to 14 
I want to scale this one a little bit up, so let's go with 0 0.025. So this one is bigger now. Now let's make a quick material here for the floor. I want to change this here now to object again, new material, floor. Uh, let's change this down to black. I want to search here for a noise texture, bring this one into the roughness. And we need a ramp here as well. Put this here in between and I want to put this one here right in the center. Let's change the scale to 87 and I want to increase here the roughness to one. Now we are done with the floor. Let's create a cube for some depth. So I want to change the dimensions to 100. Let's create a new material here, which is fork. We don't need the principle. Let's delete this by pressing X. And let's search for a volumetric scatter. This one goes into the volume here. And now we have to change the color a little bit to something grayish. And we need to change the density down to 0.05. Let's increase the anisotropy to 0.633. And we can see that we are having here a little bit, uh, yeah, some weird edges. To change this, we have to go back to the camera and increase the clip end to 1500. So everything is fine now. Okay, and now it's time to bring in uh, sun. So let's go to light and sun. I want to change the color here a little bit to something orangey, so it will Hit here to our HDRI. The angle goes to zero and let's hit here to the transform. And I want to change this now to the left side where the sun is in the HDRI. So let's go to minus 71 by minus 24 by 48. So we're having now some cool light here, which is uh, going from the left and shining or lightning up here this and as we can see here in the front this one is a little bit dark and i want to uh, light up this a little bit so let's use here this light i want to turn this into a blue purple color so let's go into the um, settings here and change this to this hex code now let's increase this to 7000 and we want to put uh, this over right here on the left side uh, from our cylinder and tree. So let's go with minus seven by minus eight by 14. We can see that the light is cool here, but we have uh, this volumetric bubble here. Now let's go into the uh, object channel, object tab here to visibility and turn the volume scatter off. We're only having here this light. And to create a little bit more depth, we have to jump back here into the uh, geometry rocks. And I want to duplicate this whole circle here and push this a little bit back and make this much bigger. And that's really easy. We just need another joint geometry. Let's duplicate this one. And we need another one. So, and now we can put this here into the other joint geometry and this here in between. So we are having now a second cycle. And now we need a transform geometry to uh yeah push this away yeah let's increase the scale let's go with eight by eight by 27 we have a really high number here now let's bring this to 450 to the y and let's rotate this so it will a little bit fit here for our tree so let's go with minus 130 and to see a little bit more of the tree we can make a little trick so let's uh, select here the tree I want to go down now to the leaf and go back to the shade editor uh, pressing on the principal bsdf i want to have this in a purple bluish color as well so let's change this here now and let's increase the emission strength to 20. and now we can see everything uh, glows up that's cool and the last thing is I want to add here in the color management, a very uh, high contrast look to something like this. That was this tutorial. And if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Camroot or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.